and this is the completed shell uh, that I just carved so we're gonna go through the steps that I went through to create that so I start with a blank which in this particular case is uh, the base is a half inch thick and uh, then the raised portion is 3 16 of an inch uh, thick so here's our billet uh, ready to go and we're using some straight green mahogany here's a pattern uh, this is a full-size pattern of a shell from the uh, Goddard secretary which is what I'm reproducing here so it uh, is ready to go for tracing so we'll put some carbon paper under here and uh, trace the pattern onto the blank so after tracing the pattern on here I made uh, three holes so that I could uh, reorient the uh, pattern exactly the way that it was because we're gonna shave off the uh, top edge here uh, when we round it over and then we're gonna carve in this lower portion uh, after after that so we're gonna lose the lines twice and so we have to put the pattern back on and try to get them exactly the way they were so the first thing I'm going to do is, is draw a circle now this is supposed to be a symmetrical piece but as you can see here it's it's not uh, but it'll give me a line uh, to kind of fo closely follow because uh, I've got a bandsaw this all off and then an inch down from the top we got to put another line here because that's where we're going to start the the curve uh, you can see here there's a line and uh, we're going to draw uh, or going to uh, use the compass to create that line across here so now that I laid out the shell and I have my circle on here uh, I'm ready to cut it out on the bandsaw but before I did that I uh, mounted it to a, a piece of uh, pine here that'll serve as backing for uh, when we make these sharp curves uh, over the front here and that it helps support it so it doesn't break off underneath so now that it's mounted we're ready to run it through the bandsaw and cut it apart so now that um, I've cut the uh, pattern out on the uh, bandsaw we've got to round over from this line here uh, to the base and I've got a template here that shows uh, what the curve would be so I can test it so I use a spoke shave for doing this Ooh. I guess it would, would help if I locked it in Anyway, you get the idea. I can turn it around in the vise and get the other side. So now we've got it rounded over and I've got my template here and I can match the curve as it goes around here. So that's what I use to, to check it. I see a flat spot here. So we're in pretty good shape. Of course, this is all going to be carved over again anyway, but it's good to have it smooth to start with. So now I got to put the lines back on it here, and then we're going to carve from, we got to put another line on here, but we're going to carve from here down to there uh, a sixteenth of an inch. So that's the next step. So you can see I got the lines back on here that we had uh, shaved off when I rounded that over. So what I just did was set in the uh, medallion here. So we're using an appropriate, this happens to be a four. Uh, it would be something different. Uh, these are English uh, graduated tools. So it would be a five or a th three in uh, European. 
So I set it in and you know just use whatever is appropriate to follow that curve around there. And what we're going to do is take all these lines off now by uh, carving down here a sixteenth of an inch all the way around here so it slopes from this line here down to that area and I'll use uh, shallow uh, gouges as we move around the circle but the idea is just to let it slope and of course the grain is uh, acting up already and of course using this platform and uh, having the pine board attached to it I can move it around so that I can get at the various angles so you get the idea so you can see how I'm starting to make my dish here and I can check it I got a little depth gauge here to 460 set it a sixteenth of an inch so I can check it along there but Essentially, I'm, I'm carving carefully down from this line here. And we're going straight across the grain at the moment to uh, get to the appropriate depth on the bottom. Of course, up here, there's practically nothing but after I take off all those lines, we gotta put them all back on again. <sighs> I suppose you could just leave them off, but. Gives you some practice in tracing lines through carbon paper. And I'm using a three here. Well, as you can see, I have the lines back on there again uh, after having carved out our dish. So we have it going this way and it's <clears throat> going downwards. The medallion has been raised uh, theoretically by a sixteenth of an inch. So now I'm going to carve out the uh, base here. So we have a pattern, a cardboard pattern here um, showing what the shape should be. and a, marked it out here on the side so all of this has to come out and then of course that this is 3 16 higher than the base so all of this has to be carved out uh, along here so what I did is I set in with uh, a number three here and a number four over here where it gets a little sharper and of course straight across the middle so now it's just a matter of uh, carving out all this material here. So we're starting to clear away the material here. And I could be using a larger chisel. This is a, a gouge rather, a, a number three. This is a half inch uh, one. So um, either of these would do. Of course, we want to be careful around the edges. And of course, when we get down to the, the bottom here, we want it to, to be nice and even. So the main thing is that, um, the main thing is that we want these straight down. Don't undercut them because they're eventually going to be rounded over for the first raise. So now that I've got the uh, front lowered here to and curved to match the pattern, uh, you can see it's exposed a 3 16 of an inch uh, that we've got to carve. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start with the V-chisel and mark out the um, various rays that we've got to do. I probably won't do them all, but um, do enough to, to get started on it. Then I'll start here uh, with rounding over the first ray, uh, followed by a uh, cove on the second ray. And so what I usually do is two round ones, 
and then a cove, two round ones and a cove, so that um, I've always got uh, the two round ones done with the cove in the middle.